In 1996, NASA launched the Mars Global Surveyor. Its mission, to unlock the Red Planet's secrets. Of all the planets in the solar system, Mars is the most similar to Earth. Both planets are made from the same materials. They each have hard crusts, dense cores, and relatively similar atmospheric chemistry. Scientists believe that as on Earth, water flowed on Mars' surface. But that was billions of years ago. Today, the planet is a frozen desert. To find out why, the orbiting Mars Global Surveyor collects data from the Red Planet. Professor Ben Weiss uses this data to reconstruct its past. Unlike the Earth, Mars today does not have a global magnetic field generated in its core. But if you were to walk around the ancient southern highlands of Mars, you'd be walking in many places in fields as strong as the Earth. But they'd be very complicated, almost like spaghetti, pointing in all different directions, not pointing north at all. The satellite discovers that certain areas of Mars' crust are strongly magnetic. It's clear from the fact that the Martian crust is strongly magnetized that there must have been a magnetic field on Mars in the past. Because that's the only way we know to magnetize rocks is for them to form in the presence of a magnetic field. Why did Mars lose its magnetic shield? And what effect did it have on the planet? To find out, scientists need to analyze Mars rock. Mars Global Surveyor didn't stop to take samples, but Weiss has managed to get hold of something extremely rare, Martian meteorites. We have some rocks from Mars that were naturally transferred to Earth. These are meteorites that were blasted off of Mars by an asteroid or comet impact. Weiss takes the meteorite sample into a special magnetically shielded chamber. He places it in a superconducting quantum interference device, or squid microscope, for analysis. So the magnetic field of a rock is extremely weak. So in order to do that well, we need to make these measurements in a very weak magnetic field. This highly sensitive machine measures the exact strength of the rock's magnetism. By analyzing different samples, Weiss builds up a picture of Mars' magnetic field at the very beginning of the planet's existence. We have actually one rock from Mars that's four and a half billion years old. Um, and we've actually recently shown by looking at the intensity of the magnetization record in that rock, that Mars had a magnetic field that was roughly the strength of the Earth today. Weiss research reveals that in its first 50 million years, Mars had a strong magnetic shield. It's amazing the diversity of magnetic fields that we see above different samples. Some of them, like this one, this is an ancient rock from Mars that's four and a half billion years old, you only see tiny little isolated magnetic anomalies with huge areas of non-magnetic uh, rock in between. Why Mars lost its shield is a mystery, but what happened to the planet as a result is not. When Mars lost its magnetic field, it lost its shield that was protecting it from uh, the solar wind and from cosmic radiation, and that had consequences for the evolution of its atmosphere. The weak magnetosphere allows solar wind to strip away Mars's delicate atmosphere. Its oceans vaporized. The loss of the magnetic field has a catastrophic impact on the planet's evolution. Mars becomes the red planet we see today, 